MK677, aka Ibuta Morin. What is it? It is a growth hormone secretagogue, exotic sub dad, aka no discount code dad, who purchases all his supplements and buys everything out of pocket, will give you his real experience. I'll tell you, is this something that you should even consider? I'll tell you the, the benefits, the advantages, the drawbacks, any side effects. I'll give it to you straight like I always have on this channel. Let's get into it. I know it's been a while back from a long hiatus. I just was in a funk, guys. I'll give it to you straight. I was in a funk for about two months, uh, just very overwhelmed with work. And finally, I have come back to my steady state, my homeostasis when it comes to how I operate in life, being extremely positive, being extremely blessed and grateful. Uh, even I get into those time periods where but when you when you operate in life without acknowledging the fact that God is there and you there's always so much to be grateful for, it's easy to get caught up in the small little minutia in life. Anyway, I digress. So, I beat up Warren. How, what was my dosage? How did I take it? I'm going to give it to you A to Z. I'm not going to skip on any pieces. If you want a full breakdown in terms of how, what is the metabolic pathway, what exactly it does with the pituitary gland and whatnot, uh, there are plenty of other videos out there, plethora of resources online. Check it out. I simply do not have the time to break down exactly what pathways it goes through and what are all the purported impacts uh, from a cellular level. Just don't have the time. Now. What did I take? I took 25 milligrams uh, spread every single night right before I went to bed. I did it for three weeks and I'll tell you why I stopped. Uh, why it wasn't necessarily the best thing for me, exotic sub dad. Now, uh, in terms of you know what I felt within the first week, uh, my sleep my sleep was pronounced and I was getting more REM sleep. Uh, I definitely fell asleep faster, had a much deeper sleep. I was able to uh, essentially stay asleep and have a very deep sleep for extended periods of time. Now there's a problem, there's a challenge and a problem with that occurring for me, which I'll get into uh, after I tell you all of the logistics in terms of how I took it. So I took this seven days on 25 milligrams right before sleeping because i was only going to take it for a short period of time uh, now typically what you'll hear on the internet is that folks will take ibutamorin especially bodybuilders and uh, very uh, serious lifters uh, whether you're a power lifter whether you are uh, getting a pro card whatever the case is they will typically go they will typically go with five days on, two days off, or four days on, three days off. That's the conventional dosage, and there's a reason for that. I'm gonna tell you what I did, and of course I'll tell you exactly what I felt. Now, for the first week, I the, this is when I returned from India, I put on quite a bit of size very quickly. Now, I, I credit a lot of the size to more than likely it being water weight. Uh, but I did gain strength. I gained a significant amount of strength. Uh, just to put that in perspective, if I was able to do maybe two muscle ups assisted, when I came back from India, I had lost quite a bit of strength. Within a week, I was able to increase that back to five. And then within three weeks, I was able to get back up to about eight to 10 uh, assisted muscle ups with the lowest band that I, t that I was able to do before I left for India, which was back in March. Uh, the other thing I noticed was increased appetite, which is of course expected since it is a ghrelin receptor agonist, uh, which essentially means that it increases hunger. 
and that was very pronounced. I was able to eat a lot more food. That's something I have a challenge with simply because I intermittent fast and by the time it's I have my one meal for the day, I'm pretty exhausted from the day and of course taking care of the kids, whatnot, work. So I'm not able to eat as much as I typically would like. So those are all the benefits. Strength increase, profound strength increase, of course, uh, especially in comparison to any other supplement I've taken. I've taken ectosterone, I've taken uh, all of them, laxogenin, I've tried all of them. And I wouldn't necessarily say that it's something you need. Actually, I would 100% uh, say that it's not a necessity. These are all things that I've tried just to test my body, see my limits, see you know what it does, what not. Uh, now, in terms of side effects, now this is where uh, you will understand why I had to stop. Now, as you all know, I have narcolepsy and I take modafinil for my narcolepsy. Why do I take modafinil? Because modafinil is a wakeful agent and essentially I have excessive daytime sleepiness where before I was prescribed modafinil, I would uh, have to take excessive naps. I would feel very sleepy. It was to the point where you know, I was not able to function as a typical person would. Now, what, what, were the, what was the biggest side effect that I noticed? It was the fatigue. It was excessive sleepiness. Even with my conventional dose of modafinil, which I take every day, which is 200 milligrams in the morning, 100 milligrams in the afternoon, that's what I'm prescribed and that's what works well for me, which I've been taking for probably about four years now. And I don't miss a single day because I do have uh, acute narcolepsy, which of course is a real thing. Now, that was number one. The fatigue was overwhelming, especially with somebody uh, who has narcolepsy. What I recommend you take ibutamorin. 100% no. The answer is an abject no. I would not even recommend you try ibutamorin. Side effect of fatigue, which even someone without narcolepsy would feel on ibutamorin, at least that's what I understand as per the forums online. It is unbearable uh, to the point where I was not able to uh, work as long as I typically do. I usually have 10 to 12 hour work days, I simply could not stay as sharp as I typically would just because the fatigue, the sleepiness from the ibutamorin was overwhelming. Now, what I could have done is taken a lower dosage. Of course, I only had 25 milligrams, so I didn't have that option. That was number one. Number two, this is something that's quite rare, but as I did my research and I looked online, anxiety. A feeling of overall, you, you don't feel like the typical things in your life that give you pleasure, whatever, whatever the case is working out, you are not finding as much pleasure in it. Now, I don't want to discredit the ibutamorin solely because of the side effect that I experienced. This could very well be the combination of modafinil and ibutamorin that enabled me to feel that way which is why i always implore all of you to do your research make sure there's no contraindications with any other medications that you take because there are so many neurotransmitters in your brain at all times that are working through different pathways so many things are being potentiated by different supplements that you take you always need to check everything holistically before you start any new supplementation routine so that's those are the, those are the main two reasons why i had to stop uh point blank the fatigue the sense of displeasure and just doing routine things and activities that i enjoy in my life was uh was essentially disabling me from continuing mk677 it, it has worked wonders for many others there are profound benefits that others report in terms of better hair, better skin. Uh, I didn't take it long enough to be able to experience that. But this is my unfiltered, transparent review. If you're going to try peptide, I would implore you to do it through a clinic and get the pure prescription-grade ibutamorin 
aka MK877, simply because all these ones that you find online, Dark Labs, all these other companies which make it, the third party testing, honestly, is just complete blasphemy. I mean, we don't even know the facilities that third party tested. It has to be a prescription grade. It's a research chemical at the end of the day. If you're gonna do it, might as well get it from a reputable source. That's my review, guys. I hope you found that helpful. More pre-workout reviews are coming out very, very soon. I, Of course, I hope you guys can understand life gets busy. I wasn't able to upload. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. I will catch you on the next one.